Hello everyone, I'm pleased to have uh, the opportunity to speak with uh, Professor Jeff Farhamwal, Director of MBA Department, uh, Associate Professor of uh, Economics and Business, uh, about effective leadership in business management. So he's also my boss, so I have to choose my question carefully, and otherwise I don't want to get fired. <laughs> It's a well-perceived uh, belief that the role of leadership is significant, significant and it's an um, indispensable part of any type of uh, organization. Leadership is thought to be an integral part of successfully uh, operating company. So, first of all, welcome to Business Talk with Dennis, uh, Professor Fahrenwald. Thank you. And um, I want to start that yesterday I read an article named uh, management is not leadership, uh, published in Hard Business Review. And people tend to mistakenly use the terms management and leadership uh, synonymously. John Cader, who wrote this article, uh, argues that these two words carry different uh, meanings. So, what are the core differences between management and leadership? What do you think? Well, I, I, I agree that there's a huge difference between mm -hmm. management and leadership. The, the difference is, is that management is based on a position. So it's an authority held by a position that somebody has. And so you're a manager because you have been given that title and authority by a position. Leadership has nothing to do with that. Leadership has everything to do with whether or not you have followers. Mm -hmm. And you can be a leader in an organization and not have any sort of title or position because the authority comes from the people who decide to follow you or not. Mm -hmm. Also, you can be a manager and not be a leader. There are many managers who are effective managers that I would argue aren't leaders at all. People wouldn't follow them if they had a choice. They follow what they do because the position tells them they have to. And so there's some, there's, there's some very, you know, leadership, anybody can be a leader. People are a manager by the fact that they're in a certain position. Mm -hmm. All right, now there's, and, and so the power comes from the top down on one as a manager, and the power comes from the bottom up because followers agree to grant you the, the, the authority to lead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my next question is that, Professor Fahrenwald, why is leadership an essential part in the business world and organizations? because we need people that are willing to step up and get things done. And in most organizations, we don't have a deficit of management. We have a deficit of leadership. We have a deficit of people who are willing to step up and get things done. All you need to do is think about in any organization anytime you hear people say, why doesn't somebody do something about that? That's mm -hmm. a situation that's crying for a leader. But no one steps up and does anything about it. They all wait for somebody else to do it, or no one does it, or they have an excuse that they're too busy, or that they don't have experience, or it's not their job, or whatever. Well, the bottom line is, someone needs to step up. Someone needs to decide they want to lead. Mm -hmm. I agree. So my next question is that, um, what combination of traits do you believe makes a good leader? I, I would love to hear you know, this answer really? Well, I would argue that, uh, um, that that's not an easy answer to have because some of the things that you could say could make a good leader, mm -hmm. if you do too much of it, would make you very ineffective as a leader. So people usually say you need to communicate to be a leader, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you never mm -hmm. shut up and you never listen and you just keep communicating all the time, you're going to be amazingly ineffective. People will say you need to uh, listen. But if all you ever do is listen and you never then give anybody any input, then you're going to be ineffective. And so I, I think we need to realize is there's not necessarily a trait that makes you a, 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 an effective leader or not. What's important is mm -hmm. the leader, the followers, and the situation. And so different situations will call for different things. All right? Sometimes people say, oh, we need a leader who's going to be really participative and listen to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, But the problem is if you, if you participate and you listen to everybody, that may not be effective. If this room was on fire right now, would you want me to say, Dennis, what do you think the best way to get out of this room is? Let's call <laughs> everybody no. else in the building and talk about it. You're going to want someone to say, get up, go that way, and do this. So again, 
that what, what's going to be effective leadership is going to be based on the person that you're, you're leading, on the situation that's there, and the leader, him or herself. Mm -hmm. And so when you start putting down a list of things and start saying these are the things that are making you a leader, the, the problem is, is that you're ignoring the, the, the people you're leading and the situation, and you need to consider all those things. Yeah, I totally agree with you. My last question, uh, Professor Pachenwald, well, let me ask now you uh, my last question after uh, which I would like to answer uh, the same question myself because I'm working uh, with you. You have been uh, exposed to various managing and leading positions in your career. So, do you consider yourself a leader or a manager? Neither and both. Well, um, well cause first off, it's not my, it's not my role to consider myself a leader. It would be the roles of other people to decide if they want to follow me or not. Mm -hmm. So, I could consider myself a leader all day, but if I look around and there's no one that wants to follow, I'm not a leader. I'm following so, you. <laughs> so, so my, but my point is, is that, you know, for someone to put on and say, yeah, I'm a leader, um, I think they're missing the point in that, you know, a leader is there because people decide they want to follow. Mm -hmm. So I would say that if people are deciding to follow me in those situations, then I've become a leader. Mm -hmm. um, am I a manager? I have things that I'm responsible for managing, um, but you could probably ask, am I effective? Well, that depends on if you like my style or not, mm -hmm. because I'm not a micromanager. I don't watch over everything that everybody does, as you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I give you things to do, and then you have to figure it out and do it. Yeah. Some people like that. Some people hate that. So some people would say, I'm a very ineffective manager. Other people would say, I'm an effective manager. Mm -hmm. And then also when it comes to, again, deleting, some people would say I've been effective. Other people would say I'm ineffective. I would say that I'm continually learning how to be both a manager and a leader. Mm -hmm. And if I had to be one or the other, I'd rather be a leader um, because that doesn't have to have the position to go with it. But I'd say I'm still learning on all those accounts. Well, great. Uh, to be honest, from my own experience working with you as your uh, assistant, I would say that you represent a mix of a manager and a leader, I think. Uh, you have sufficient amount of leadership trait uh, to lead a group of people at the same time, administry and organization uh, workforce, I think. Um, and also, I'm really glad to work with you, and your experience is really important for me. So, as I said, I'm following you. Okay. <laughs> So, thank you very much, Professor Fahrenwald, uh, for your time and for sharing your knowledge and uh, expertise with us today. It was a great pleasure to have all you on the uh, show. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Good job, Dennis. Uh, so, today I talk about leadership with uh, Professor uh, Fahrenwald, who is um, Director of uh, the MBA Department. Uh, next week, I'm going to have Professor Ina Freeman. Uh, we are going to talk about corporate social responsibility, uh, we can say CSR. And uh, finally, I believe that education should expand the mind and uh, free spirit. So I hope to done both this interview we have. See you next time.